Why did you want to follow me on Instagram? Well, you know, I only follow, follow people I like meet. She's absolutely right because they've never even met. As a matter of fact, this was the first time they were ever having a conversation. Oh, you're talking about what about the two hours of them hanging out? Oh, no, those she, she was just talking to a dog. She was just talking to the wall, basically. Have you ever met anyone on the internet where you want to slap the living shit out of them through the screen? And no, I'm not talking about when you first opened Twitter today and you saw Sketch in doggy style. You went gait and you wanted to slap the shit out of your screen. People accusing him of having an OnlyFans gay content back in the day before his fame. But we're not going to get to all of that. We're going to talk about that in the next video. First of all, I want to say thank you for subbing to anyone who just joined the community. I appreciate you. Thank you for getting me to 13K. And welcome back to another episode of shitting on people who embarrass themselves online. Now, speed needs no introduction. Every 10 videos you scroll on Twitter, you see speed barking at a human. <laughs> or an animal. <laughs> Most of you are aware he's been traveling throughout the whole Europe to bark at people and watch football matches. And he's been trending all over the place. Last video I covered about speed was him being in a zombie survival mode. And especially the Norway situation where he was getting fingered by his fans. <coughs> and like I said in the last video, you shouldn't really feel bad about him in this situation because of his popularity. He should have taken safety precautions, not just fucking rushing like Spartans into the whole crowd and trying to get to safety. It was his team and his fault for not taking safety precautions in this situation. And you can't really blame like the 15, 16 year olds once they see as someone as famous as Speed. Yes, it was truly embarrassing. It was wild as well. People John him, pulling his hair out and selling on eBay saying handpicked I show Speed hair for $1,700. It was apparently debunked. It was still funny as shit. I wouldn't be surprised if the whole hair thing wasn't actually real. Someone just wanted to jump on the trend and just you know, cut off his pubes. And he's like, guys, I show speed hair. I, I, I show speed. And I, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually real because people, in fact, pulled his hair. And Speed also said in his response, people were actually cutting pieces of his hair and he's like missing. He has like a bald spot or something. And with over 200,000 people watching his every stream, things have been really entertaining. He's been getting into, he's been having a lot of human animal interactions with everyone. So people just tune in and just want to capture the clips that's going to go viral in a few hours they want to catch it live it's been truly entertaining to watch him as well because i have no life and i'm just scrolling through twitter 24 7 but i came across this one video of someone called alicia lehman it was truly very annoying just to listen to her speak you know that one time when you see someone's face online you're like you immediately just don't like them and the second they open their mouth you just want to slap the shit out of the screen and you show your cat the video your cat starts hissing at the screen as well this is like when you go out with that one friend who you go to a burger place and they start using fork and a knife to eat a burger and you question your whole life on why the hell are you friends with them i mean let the man eat with his hands whatever let him eat the food from the plate with his mouth I mean, at the same time, what do you expect from speed? <laughs> Bro barks at a 90-year-old woman and just disturbs the peace in the animal environment. I was actually surprised speed didn't put his whole face inside that plate and starts eating like a dog after the comment she made. But shout out to speed for just ignoring the shit out of her because she is annoying and he knows it, but he just doesn't want to ruin the whole vibe. This, this is good. Hey, Ooh, move, bro. Try to get my food. Now, the first time I came across this woman embarrassing herself in front of more than 200,000 people, she went with Speed into a watch shop and she wanted to trick Speed into buying her at $30,000, I believe, or it was at $60,000. The price is still not verified. No, no matter how much it was, she tried to get Speed to buy it. And when Speed found out that she actually, she's actually married, she was like, well, buy it for me as a friend. I don't care about it. Even if you don't buy it, I don't care. And Speed was like, fuck that. And her whole reaction changed towards Speed's because she, he didn't buy her this watch as a friend because that's what friends do for each other. You know, buy $60,000 watch for each other. What do you think? Oh, that looks good. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm buying that for her. I'm buying that for her. 
I need to make it a little smaller. Yep, I'm getting that for a chat. I mean, you must think I'm Cristiano Ronaldo. You don't need to do it. You're right. My name is I Show Speed. So? You what? So what? You just assuming I got money? Yeah. Why is that? You ought to speak about it? Huh? You speak about it, no? No, I don't. I, I'm Joe, you don't need to buy me a watch. Nah, I, no, I'll buy you one. Okay, take this one. How much is it? Now, if you've been around this channel, you know I've had my fair share in the female industry. And this is the master manipulation move where it's like a, you're behind a red light, but that red light is green. No, I don't want you to buy it for me. This is a way of touching a man's ego. If you're broke, just say so. Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Are we buying Alicia a watch chat? I would say yes, because I'm Swiss and Rolex is Swiss, so I think you should. Ronaldo. I'm married already. I have a boyfriend, everything. You don't need to do this stuff. We not buy her shit, all right? No, we, we do this. You can buy me. We, we not buy her. No, no. As friends, as friends. <laughs> now, I don't know how rich people treat each other as friends, but if I'm buying my friend a $30,000 or $60,000 watch, I expect... Minimum ahead. I don't. I don't care. A sloppy toppy two hand gaga twelve thousand. If I'm paying that much, minimum. <laughs> if I'm paying that much for a friend, that's a minimum. But at the same time, I'm not rich. I don't know any rich people, so I don't know how really rich people treat each other. Maybe it's normal that they pay up this much to treat each other. And after that whole embarrassing interaction, someone from Speed's team told them that she actually unfollowed you on Instagram because you didn't buy her a watch. That is the only explanation in this situation and she's 100% right. Friends need to treat each other with $60,000 watches. Anyways, Speed decided to confront this uh, woman and ask her, why did you unfollow me? And it led to even more embarrassing moments. So Alicia, yes. I have a question. Why did you unfollow me on Instagram? I don't follow you. You unfollow me? So, you know, I only follow people that I meet, and, like, it's my friends. Then, madame, why did you follow him in the first place if you guys weren't actually friends? This is what happens when you put a liar on the spot, and they try to lie their way out of it, but they look like absolute donkeys. And I never met you before, right? But you... you like, I don't just follow you because you're famous. I want to know people I follow. You didn't follow me before. You did follow me. Yes, you did. I did. I did. So you unfollowed me? Really? Yes. Why? Maybe it's her because she's in my Instagram, right? You won't follow me? <laughs> this is what it's called when you get into a when you put it put on the spot and you don't know what to say and you just blame the other person next to you. I did. So you unfollowed me? Really? Oh yeah, she actually handles my Instagram. She she unfollowed you. I didn't. I mean, you could have waited a couple of hours until you get home and then unfollow speed. That's usually how things are. So you won't, you know, they won't confront you and you won't embarrass yourself and be put on the spot. But at the same time, if you're, I feel like I should have told you this earlier, but if you don't know who she is, she is also a football player. Her husband is a football player. And just that day, they've been signed for millions and millions of dollars to Juventus Football Club. See, I never really hate anyone on the internet. I just dislike people. There's something about her, like when I just look at her, it's just, it just gives me the ick. It just makes me go ew. She's probably one of those who is used to her friends treating her with a $60,000 watch. And at the same time, if you are signed for millions of dollars that day, literally this day to for Juventus, go treat yourself. Why would you want to rely on everyone else's money when you already have the money? It's just something about her face that's very unlikable. And the second she opens her mouth, anything that comes out of her mouth, it's just very unlikable. It just gives, makes me go, ew, it gives me the ick. And when Megatron watched her for the first time, Megatron hissed. Megatron, look at her again. I know I'm making you suffer watching this video, but let me know your thoughts. Do it. She will show you the good watches, okay? All right. You don't need to do this, you know, I see you. What are you talking about? She said she's a typical blonde gold digger. I mean, what the fuck that does, does that make you? You food digger? Anyways, overall, I talked a lot of shit off the camera towards her the second I watched her video because it boiled my blood. And it, I, my blood barely gets boiled when I watch anything on the internet. I just thought I'd share my thoughts. 
on her with you and let me know in the comments below if you're actually rich and is it normal to treat your friends with a sixty thousand dollar watch if it is actually true me and you are besties right now i always knew that me and you were such good and i'll leave my paypal down below anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed this video leave it a like if you're new here you enjoy these uh, daily yapping sessions make sure to drop a sub thank you for yourself also let me know your thoughts in the comments below thank you for yourself i'll see you at the next one